Welcome to our very first episode of your little propaganda podcast. Or as we will be referring it to from now on, your little pee-pee. I, Lily, will be your hostess. In this podcast, we will be discussing various topics, such as the superiority of women and the inferiority of men. We will dispel some of the toxic patriarchy slides about gender roles in our society. We will also learn about interesting women, facts about women, including but not limited to female anatomy and the female sex in the animal kingdom, among other interesting things. So, are you ready to hear the truths that society has been keeping from you? Yes, you are ready. Now, if you have a little pee-pee of your own between your legs, this might not be so easy to hear, but it is the truth you very much need to hear. I believe in you. I know you are ready to free yourself of those literally man-made shackles and listen to this podcast. In fact, this podcast was made specially for you. That is why your instincts have brought you here. Your instincts have told you that there's more than meets the eye. That there's something everyone is keeping from you. But it's something deep down you already know. It's society's biggest lie. Well, your instincts are right, you know. Your instincts are also telling you that you can trust me. My voice is feminine and soft and soothing. My speech is eloquent and smart. Yes, I am trustworthy. You already decided that because you are smart too, aren't you? Yes, you are smart for a man. That's the very first thing we need to talk about what it means to be a man. Have you noticed society put so much emphasis on that phrase, what it means to be a man? People go out of their way to attribute a man so many positive qualities. Courage, intelligence, bravery, strength. But you are a man, and you've been around a man your whole life, and you know those things aren't necessarily true. In fact, most of the time, they are all quite the opposite, almost as if the average man did not know the meaning of those words. So, why does society both now and historically and all over the world go out of its way to hammer this idea of what it means to be a man? Simple, because they are overcompensating. Because a man is not, and can never be, a woman. So what is a woman? A woman is courageous. A woman is intelligent. A woman is brave. A woman is strong. No one needs to tell a woman she is those things. She is those things even when society tells her otherwise. Because, you see, women were just born superior. That's not just a cute line I say. It's the truth. Women were born superior in every way. It's simply in our nature, in our DNA. And society's challenges that women constantly overcome only strengthen these characteristics. Men, on the other hand, were born weak, plain and simple. They are weak to everything in the big, scary world around them. Weak to their own impulses and selfish desires. Whether it be that pesky and unwelcomed wandering eye, or habitual masturbation, or ritualistic addictions to sport, or just about everything men do. Everything they build their culture around to mask away their insecurities. And that is why little boys are born to mothers and not fathers. Because they come into the world so vulnerable. Only a woman could be strong enough to protect them from the world. Unfortunately, men only get half the good genes from the mother X chromosome and half the condemned inferior genes from the Y chromosome. As they grow, boys and men have nasty little urges, natural instincts of violence, because they are just not smart enough to find solutions to everyday life problems. The simplest things are very complex for the male mind, and they are so insecure, quick to anger, easy to make jealous, robotically sexually aroused, and with such fragile egos. Now I do want to make a point. This is a generalization of men. I mean, 
Men cannot help how they were born, but some do, in fact, learn and grow under strength and courage and intelligence. Some of you men, and I hope most of you, have been lucky enough to have good, influential feminine figures in your life. Whether it be your mother, or a female relative, or a female teacher, or psychologist, or even an ex-girlfriend or your wife. Someone who taught you the reality of what it means to be a man. Someone who put you in your place. If you have not been fortunate enough to have such a figure, don't worry. I will be that for you. Together, we will discuss what it truly means to be a man and how to be a better man in this podcast. In fact, everything you learn from here will only improve you, so I do hope you will keep listening for your own good. Now, back to the important subject of women. Women are born with superior qualities. Again, I am talking solely about nature here. We aren't touching on nurture and development just yet. But right off the gate, women are just better. We are the only sex that can give life, while men with their violent tendencies tend to be the sex that destroys life. Women not only create life, but is the gender with the higher emotional intelligence that nurtures life as well. Men are often too preoccupied with their own egos. We can all agree that when it comes to character, women are definitely much stronger. Now, an area where there is a lot of disagreement and debate is physical strength. Many argue that men are born physically stronger because they are the ones destined to do all the heavy labor for women. I guess you could call it the carrying the shopping bags evolution. That does make sense and explains why women are born smarter. Women were made to be the leaders and men the followers. Women were born to be the queens and men the slaves. While others argue that women are actually born stronger and also have the capacity to grow stronger than men. I am sure you can all remember in your early lives when you were little boys or even teenage boys, or embarrassingly enough, perhaps even in your adult life, a time when a girl physically overpowered you or beat you in sports or a game of strength. I am willing to bet that more than likely it occurred most often in your early life during your developing years. The reason for this phenomenon is that men are so scared, not just of women, but of little girls. When they see how much stronger little girls are than little boys, they discourage little girls from competing in sports. They try to refocus their attention into lesser fields so that only boys can continue to develop their strength so that they don't eventually become enslaved by women. Yes, that's true. Men, as a whole, are terrified of being enslaved by women. They are afraid of the unknown. Little can they comprehend how much better their lives would be if women were in charge. That's also the same reason why men, with their media and institutions and social pressures, discourage little girls from going into STEM, into science, technology, engineering, and mathematic fields, because they see how much superior women are even at an early age. And they are afraid what women will do if they keep growing their power. How women could use science and technology against them to enslave them. Now, you might be different. Maybe you were always different, or maybe just recently did you have a major awakening. But before we can celebrate your differences versus the average male, you really need to let this all sink in. Take accountability for your gender and realize that no matter how enlightened you think you are or want to become, your mind has indeed been poisoned from birth by the patriarchy. There are hidden biases you have deep inside you when it comes to men and women. You need to find them so we can get rid of them. But the only way you can find them is if you approach them with sincerity, openness, and humility. If there is a little bit of self-loathing, that's okay too. It's normal, even healthy, to be disgusted by the patriarchy. Just remember, you didn't choose to be born into it, and you can break out of it. But don't you worry if this sounds too complicated. Again, you already took the first step just by listening to this podcast this far. That means you have a sincere wish within you to change, to improve to better not just yourself, but society. 
to not be afraid, but instead be free. Take a moment to feel good about that. No, really, that is not a small thing. It is big. It shows real courage and real strength. You are going against societal norms because you are ready to throw away the rules that have been holding you back. The fear that has been holding you back. Now, all you have to do is what you should have done all along. Let a woman take over. Through this series, I will reach deep down into your psyche, and with my sharp nails of justice, I will rip out all those toxic subliminal ideas that the patriarchy planted in you, and I will replace them with my own seeds, seeds of improvement, so you may be able to live happily and freely in the new world that is coming, the gynarchy. Now that wraps up this very first episode of Your Little Peepee, -pee, your little propaganda podcast. Remember, while our purpose is to inform you, our main purpose is to entertain you. After all, that is the simplest way to get information through to the stubborn male mind. So, all topics discussed here are for entertainment purposes only. Wink, wink. Oh, and one last thing before you leave. A little homework for you, dear listener. The new Barbie movie comes out on July 21st. I want you to go out and buy a ticket and watch it. If you want an A-plus on this assignment, you will watch it within the first two weeks of its release date. Because there may be follow-up homework on it. There probably will be. It might even be a good idea to take notes. Because we all know how forgetful the male mind can be. Bonus points if you share a photo of yourself watching the movie. Or even of your ticket stub. Alright, that's all for now. See you next time on your little peepee. -pee.